Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, I am back to take a new lesson for the subject of accounting second paper that is applicable for class 11 and 12 business studies students. We are going to carry on the very important chapter for accounting second paper this is name is financial statement of company I have already completed five lectures for this chapter out of this lecture Four creative questions already completed. Dear students, I think you have learned from this chapter a lot of. Okay, this is the time to take your accounting second paper book that is accounting learning workbook level 2 and accounting practice copy to take new lesson from this digital content I hope you will be very useful from these lectures the chapter is financial statement of joint stock company you know two compulsory maths from this chapter in any exam of accounting second paper there is pre-test or test or your ACC final exam dear learners now you have to take your accounting learning workbook level 2 and open at page number 335 for solving the critical question number x is 15 now you can open the page at 335 from accounting learning workbook level 2 dear students I hope you have taken your accounting book and opened the page number 335 and start the account exercise 15. The authorized capital of Lira Shamrat Company Limited is TACA 5 lakh divided into 25,000 shares of TACA 20 each. The following trial plans and adjustment you are available as at 31st December 2014. In trial balance has two sides in left that is debit side and right that is credit side. Opening stock in debit side goodwill bet current lease asset for 10 years book debt. It's another name account receivable. 10% investment furniture machinery salary technical know-how purchase preliminary expenses loan to director one kind of current assets advertisement good goods sent on consignment this is the new item it's a current assets but debt interim dividend it's a new item it is indicated as appropriations for the retail earnings statement general expenses wages three-fourth factory Remaining one foot that is operating expenses, fuel expenses, income tax, discount on share. This is the new item also. Discount on share is the fictitious asset for journalistic company. In the right side, there is credit side profit prior to incorporation. It's a new item for you, I think. This is the current liability for journalistic company. Reserve fund Reserve 
डिसकाउंट ऑन परसेज रिटार्न आउटवर्ड सेल्स टेन पार्सेंट डिवेन्चर लंग टर्म लाइबिलिटी इंटरेस्ट एंड इनमेंट ऑन क्लैम डिविडेंट नॉन कारेंट लाइबिलिटी दैट इज शर्ट टर्म लाइबिलिटी इनकम टैक्स रिजर्व सोर्स टैक्स दिस इज द निव आइटेम अल्सो इज द कारेंट लाइबिलिटी अफ जॉन्ट स्टॉक कम्पनी शेयर कैपिटल परसेज लेजर अकाउंट दैट इज एन अदर नेम इज अकाउंट्स पेबल और क्रेडिटर्स दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट लाइबिलिटी बैलेंस ऑफ रिटर्न अर्निंग दैट इज द ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ रिटर्न अर्निंग्स और बैलेंस सी डी ऑफ रिटर्न अर्निंग स्टेटमेंट एट फर्स्ट स्टेज एडजस्टमेंट क्लोजिंग स्टॉक बेलू टाका टू लाख एंड बिफोर वेल्युएशन ऑफ गुड्स इन दिस्ट्रॉयड बाई द इन टाका फाइव थाउजेंड बी सेल्स और रिटर्न बेसिस सेल्स दैट इज द टर्म्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग सेल्स प्रोसीड्यूर विच इंक्लूडेड इन सेल्स टाका टेन थाउजेंड बट इट्स कॉस्ट प्राइस टाका एट थाउजेंड इट कैन बी सेट द सेल्स और रिटर्न बेसिस सेल्स दैट इज वन काइंड ऑफ सेल्स रिटर्न इन कंजर्वेटिव कॉन्सेप्ट so for this adjustment you can deduct the amount of account receivable in sales for the amount of 10000 and its cost price 8000 to be added with closing stock adjustment c advertisement is to be written off within 5 years d stationery includes in opening stock which is the new item also stationery includes in opening stock so opening stationery is to be deducted from the opening stock in cost of goods sold and opening stationery is to be added with stationery or office expenses in operating expenses market value of investment taka 85000 you know asset value which is lower to be taken for calculation F goodwill and preliminary expenses written up twenty five percent. Depreciation on machinery five percent. Okay, requirement A determine the amount of current liabilities. Requirement B determine the operating profit or loss of the company. That is statement of comprehensive income. Requirement C determine the amount of total assets. That is the statement of financial position according to. Nineteen ninety four Company Act, Schedule eleven, but it's partial. That is the amount of total assets. Dear learners, now you can take your accounting copy for solving this one. I think we are ready to take the solution of Access fifteen. Okay, now you can go to the next content. Requirement A. The amount of current liabilities or short-term liabilities is determined below. Totally five items of current liabilities or short-term liabilities are available in this trial balance and adjustment. The first one, profit prior to incorporation. It's a new item from this moment. you have to remember it profit prior to incorporation always indicated as current liabilities interest on debenture interest on debenture that is the amount of item always indicated as operating expenses but it would be indicated as current liabilities in all time you know unclaimed dividend it's a new item unclaimed dividend always indicated as current liabilities source tax it's another item new also source tax there is the current liability purchase laser account from the assets level or class 9 and 10 you know purchase laser account it's another name of accounts payable or creditors so it is indicated as current liability in this query question total amount of current liability is taka 184000 dear boys and girls i think you have written in your copy a requirement a that is the amount of current liabilities 
now we can start the requirement B the amount of apart in profit or loss is determined below using a statement comprehensive income dear students I think you know income statement when you start with the amount of sales so sales the amount of 10 lakh in trial plans in credit side less sales return that is the terms or condition in adjustment number two sales are returned by C sales which includes in sales this amount all is to be deducted from the sales and account receivable you have to remember it from the moment so at this moment net sales of amount taka 990000 in outer column and then less cost of goods sold you know totally four stages of cost of goods sold first one opening stock second one net purchase third one direct expenses fourth one closing stock okay now you can start cost of goods sold opening stock this is the amount of 140000 in trial blends but in adjustment number D, stationery includes in opening stock taka 2000. So, this opening stationery amount to be deducted from the opening stock taka 2000. That is the net amount of opening stock is taka 138000 in middle column. Add net purses, that is the amount of purses from trial bins 560000. Then you can deduct the amount of discount and purchase and return outward from trial bins 10,000 and 5,000. Another item, less goods destroyed from adjustment number one before valuation of goods destroyed by rain taka 5,000. It will be deducted from the purchase amount in all time. You know, always goods destroyed, goods drawings, goods distribution, goods lost, goods stolen is to be deducted from the net purchase. So it is deducted the amount of 5000 from purchase amount. So you can get the net purchase amount 540,000 in the middle column. Third one, uh, direct expenses. Direct expenses totally two items are available in the trial balance. Number one, wages. Wages total amount always indicated as direct expenses, but in this trial blends, information given three fourth of factory. So three fourth factory that is the only direct expenses. Three fourth part of twenty four thousand. So three fourth of twenty four thousand that is the amount of eighteen thousand of wages is to be indicated as direct expenses in this creative question another item fuel expenses in all time it is direct expenses in middle column 20,000 so 138,000 plus 5 lakh 40,000 plus 18,000 plus 20,000 that is the amount of total 7 lakh 16,000 now you can deduct the amount of net closing stock Closing stock only take a two lakh and sales return basis sales that is the condition of terms it is to be added with always in the all time in closing stock so closing stock is take a two lakh plus eight thousand that is the amount of net closing stock in this creative question two lakh eight thousand you can deduct it from the amount of seven lakh sixteen thousand, so you can get taka five lakh eight thousand in outer column. Now, time to get the amount of gross profit. Net sales taka nine lakh ninety thousand and cost of goods sold taka five lakh eight thousand. So this is the amount of gross profit of taka four lakh eighty two thousand. Dear students, I think you are writing very attentively in your copy. Okay, now you can deduct the operating expenses from gross profit for finding out the operating profit or loss. 
so apart to expand this this is the first run item lease assets for 10 years taka 2 lakh so lease assets retain up for 1 year 2 lakh divided by 10 that is the amount of taka 20000 in middle column salary from trial bins 48000 advertisement advertisement in adjustment advertisement is to be retain up within 5 years but in trial bins advertisement amount taka 35,000 so one fifth of the advertisement is to be shown in direct operating expenses in direct operating expenses so one fifth of 35,000 that is the amount of taka 7,000 in middle column to be shown for advertisement expenses in this creative question bad debt you know all time is a selling expenses that is operating expenses 4,000 from trial blends general expenses in trial bands 5000 but not available of stationary item or stationary expenses in trial bands but adjustment number d stationary includes in opening stock that is the opening stationary generally opening stock is to be added with stationary item or stationary expenses but insufficient money of stationary in this math so you can add with the amount of general expense or office expenses take a 2000 so 5000 plus 2000 that is the amount of 7000 to be shown in middle column another new item wages in all time it is direct expenses but in this creative question one fourth remaining of party expenses so 24000 one fourth amount of 24,000 that is the amount of 6,000 to be shown in operating expenses. Goodwill written up, preliminary expenses written up at the rate of 25%. So, goodwill written up 25% on 90,000. This is the amount of 22,500 in middle column. Preliminary expenses written up 25% on 1 lakh. That is the amount of TACA. 25,000 in middle column another adjustment depreciation on machinery at the rate of 5% depreciation on machinery at the rate of 5% that is the amount of machinery 1 lakh 80,000 so 5% this is the amount of depreciation is taka 9,000 it's shown in middle column now you have to be added total of party expenses and to be shown in outer column total operating expense this stack of 1,48,500 so for finding for getting operating profit and loss you can deduct the amount of operating expenses from gross profit so you can get the amount of operating profit in this creative question 3,33,500 only Dear students, I think you have written in your copy requirement A and B for the exercise of 15. Now I can start the requirement C. The amount of total assets is determined by using statement of financial position that is for shell. So asset side only to be shown in this requirement. Totally four heads are available in asset side, fixed asset, long term investment, current assets and advances. The stone expand is not yet expired that is fictitious asset so in this math fixed fixed asset available totally five items goodwill goodwill taka 90,000 then to be deducted the amount of return of 25% 22,500 and net goodwill amount 67,500 in middle column lease assets 2 lakh that is the amount of 20,000 for written up so net amount of lease assets in middle column 1 lakh 80,000 furniture from trial bins 1 lakh 50,000 machinery from trial bins 1 lakh 80,000 but it is deducted the amount of accumulated depreciation from the amount of 1 lakh 80,000 so you can get the net amount of machinery 1,71,000 in middle column. Technical know-how is the new item 
for any label of the accounting that is technical knowledge technical know-how is one kind of fixed asset to be shown in middle column 15,000 at this moment total of fixed asset tax of 5,83,500 now you can go the second head of assets long-term investment one item is available 10 percent investment tax 80,000 at first you have to write in middle column then you can go to the outer column 80,000 now we can go to the third head a third step of assets current assets and advances first item interest receivable on investment total investment amount taka 80,000 the rate of 10 percent in trial bins. according to con act you can get the amount of interest in investment taka 80,000 into 10 percent that is the amount of 8,000 but in trial bins in credit side interest on investment available taka 3,000 so receivable of interest amount taka 5,000 to be shown in current assets that's why it is shown that is the amount of 5000 shown in asset side another one new item bet current account in debit balance generally always bet current account is shown in credit balance but in this math is available debit balance that's why it is shown in current assets if bet current account is in credit balance then it is indicated as current liability in all time Book debt that is the amount of account receivable one lakh twenty four thousand from trial bins, but adjustment number two sales or return versus sales that is the terms or condition of sales item. So this item that is the amount of ten thousand already deducted from the sales now. It can be deducted from the book debt or account receivable. So one lakh twenty four thousand less 10,000 net amount of account receivable one like 14,000 in middle column loan to directors only loan allowed always in company that is the amount of current assets good sent on consignment this is the new item good sent on consignment to consigning this is the amount of current assets again i repeat good sent on consignment loan to director always indicated as current assets that is a short term asset closing stock in all time in current assets to be shown two lakh eight thousand total of current assets stock of three lakh seven sixty seven thousand now you can go to the fourth head of asset side expense is not yet expired there is the other asset or a fictitious asset in this company totally three items are available in this credit question first one preliminary expenses from trial bins take a one lakh but in adjustment it is the return of at the rate of 25 percent so return of amount to be deducted from the preliminary expenses 25,000 and remaining that is the net amount of preliminary expenses 75,000 is shown in middle column discount on share from trial bins take a 25,000 in middle column another item default advertisement for adjustment number C advertisement is to be written of within five years so one year written of in shown in about expenses but fourth fifth of the advertisement is to be deferred. So departed advertisement is taka four fifth of thirty five thousand. That is the amount of twenty eight thousand. So at this moment, expense is not yet expired. That is the amount of fictitious asset one lakh twenty eight thousand total. Overall, four heads are available in outer column, in asset side you can see again in content fixed asset total 5 lakh 83500 long term investment 80000 third current assets and advances 3 lakh 67000 expenses not yet expired taka 1 lakh 28000 total of assets 
of Lira Shumrat Company Taka 11,58,500 This is the closed amount for this creative question. Dear learners, truly speaking, you have already completed today a big creative question. It is also a little bit critical question also. but it is completed so dear students I think you have understood it if not you can practice much and more time now time to take the home assignment now you can phase you can open the phase number 331 and indicate the exercise number 11 for today's home assignment okay dear students that's all for being today inshallah i will come back again to take a new lesson for financial statement of joint stock company for 11 and 12 class classes and also for business studies students i think we are fine i am also fine allah hafiz